As kids head back to school, many are already preparing for the return of fall sports like cross country, football, and soccer. Joining us now to talk about ways to avoid common injuries as team practices begin for the upcoming season is Dr. Joe Gettler with the Michigan Orthopedic Surgeons. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, doctor. Thanks for having me. Well, let's start off with, with some of the most common injuries that your office sees every fall. Are there some that you just know without a doubt, we're like, oh yeah, these are coming back. Yeah, lots of sprains and strains, but you know, people have been hibernating for a while with all the uh, lockdowns and things. So uh, the injuries are coming out of the woodwork. Sprains, strains, bumps, bruises, but we're also seeing a lot more things like ACL tears, meniscus tears, shoulder dislocations, as sports like football really ramp up. So football, you mainly see more of those dislocations than other sports? You know, people like to say that there are other sports that are a lot more dangerous than football, but uh, my, my two boys play football, by the way, and I love football, but there's certainly a spike in the injury rate when the fall sports come back around, and one of the big offenders is football. Oh, yeah. Well, both of my brothers uh, played in high school, and yeah, you, you definitely can be, get beat up a little bit there, but obviously you can get injured playing pretty much any sport, and do you see more injuries with new student athletes versus student athletes who've been, you know, at it for a few years? Yeah, absolutely. And now with the pandemic, hopefully behind us a little bit, we're seeing more of these startup injuries, you know, the little leaguers elbows and the jumpers knees where kids and athletes have been sidelined for so long. And now they're getting back into the swing and their bodies, their ligaments, tendons, muscles, they're not quite up to snuff and they're not quite used to uh, the rigmarole. So what are, what's some advice to give to not only the new athletes, but the ones who may be in their senior year or in college, what, what should they keep in mind? Practice, 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 getting your body acclimated to the, uh, what, it's gonna, what it's gonna face on the field or the court. Um, plenty of stretching. Um, going into a season with a well-rounded routine in the first place, Cardio, lots of stretching, lifting is gonna is gonna keep you off the sidelines and in the game. Practice not only makes perfect, but it keeps you in the game. How about what you're eating and hydration? That's a huge one. You know, of course you want to have a well-balanced diet, but this time of year, especially with the moist heat, you need to talk about hydration. When I'm working a sideline on any given Friday night in, in the suburbs of, of Metro Detroit, the number one reason the medical team and myself get called out onto the field is not because somebody took a hit to the head, not because they twisted a knee, it's because of cramps. Mm -hmm. So yeah, cannot skip hydration. It is so very important. Any telltale signs that an athlete should get evaluated by a trainer or physician? Oh, absolutely. You know, there's, there's, when you talk about heat illness, there's cramps, which are by far the most common, but it goes through the continuum all the way to heat stroke. And if a kid is disoriented, looking a little bit out of it, breathing, I mean, rapid, rapid heart rate, rate just doesn't look right is the biggest telltale sign, kind of lethargic. They need to be evaluated. If you think they have heat illness, like heat exhaustion, et cetera, you got to take them to a cool place, get some ice on them, get some fluids in them, and hopefully there won't be a disaster. Hopefully so. Now, where are some Michigan orthopedic surgeons locations where people can find out more? Um, they're, they're scattered all over. Um, I'm out of Bigham Farms as well as Unisource, which is our newest office up in Troy. So we're around, we're out there. Um, we're, we're, we're ready for you if you need us. Well, Dr. Joe Gettler, thank you so much for being with us. People can go to your website as well to find out more information and get those locations. We do appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. For sure.